our channel member, <coughs> Jack Rolls. <coughs> Just gonna let you uh, drink it in, man. I'm nervous for this, I'm not gonna lie. Proper nervous. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Such an idiot. Welcome along, ladies and gentlemen, to your Tuesday flight night here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. And I hope that you are well uh, this Tuesday evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in the last... I mean, what? How long have I been home? couple hours so I've 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 literally got I got home from work got sorted jumped on the computer and downloaded a checklist and tried to well I've not checked I've not tested it but I've watched videos and I've written it down so we're gonna go into it and see what happens it should be very interesting uh, we are on board of course I mean there's no I don't need to tell you what we're on board, but I'll do it anyway. We're on board Buffalo Airways and their DC-3. Uh, and we are live from a snowy yellow knife. Don't believe me. Here's the snow. Oh yes, it's snowy in yellow knife. Uh, and we are headed over to Hayes River. This, uh, this evening. Flight time today should be somewhere in the 1 hour and 14 minute mark. Might be slightly more than that. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but well, uh, it's about an hour and 14 minutes to an hour and 20. If that. <clears throat> Let me show you. On the inside. Ready? Ready? It's totally different to anything else that you'd expect. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Here is your, here's the classic. Look at the classic. Classic cockpit of a DC-3. Boy, this is uh, this is quite something, isn't it? You'll notice, um, or I mentioned the other day, this uh, this particular livery that we've got came with two options. It came with the the classic uh, DC-3 cockpit, or to make life a little bit easier for everybody, comes with an autopilot. So we've gone for the autopilot version because might make things a little bit easy for the first time of flying the DC-3 and then we'll see what happens um, I think it's I think this is just for this 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 livery I don't think this is for all of them I've not had a look so I don't know um, <laughs> but yeah I'm I'm nervous I people that I've watched fly this and they've they've landed it it's gone horrifically wrong so I'm hoping to join that club or hopefully start my own club <clears throat> in actually landing this plane very nicely but yeah what do you think it's beautiful isn't it it's absolutely beautiful very very nice very well textured very well modeled beautifully colored, uh, colored as well for uh, the uh, the buffalo airways livery as well excellent let's stay in the cockpit for now weather should be quite interesting as well um, for, uh, minus four degrees <clears throat> uh, outside at the moment and when we get to Hay River uh, I've actually spelled Hay so it's Hay River not Hayes River but Hay River uh, we'll be getting to minus 1 degrees and broken cloud 15, 000, uh, sorry, 1500 and 2500 and 4800 feet 8 knots of crosswind when we get to thingy and we've got 11 knots of wind uh, to uh, depart out of as well so it's going to be super interesting Excuse me. Okay, let's say hello um, to those that are in the chat. First of all, we got Wayne. Back streets, back, all right. Dogwood is there as well. Uh, Welshy Kev, hello to you. Carl Crawford, good evening. Jim's there. You, sir, are a legend. Indeed, good evening. Uh, Dogwood's looking forward to this. I'm, I'm slightly shitting my pants, but it'd, it'd be fine. I'm sure it'd be fine. Um, who else have we got there? Anybody lurking, of course, as well. Hello, hello. Come and say hello in the chat as we do this 
flight. Uh, also, before we <coughs> before we go ahead, let's say hello to our resident super chat reader. It is, of course, everyone's favourite. It's Emma. Evening, Emma. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to what will be a very interesting stream here tonight. Mm -hmm. How are we all doing? Tom, I want to ask you something. Go for it. Play the thing. What thing? You know the thing. Oh, that thing. Yes, that thing. I can't. Why not? Because he's not here. Oh, yeah. But you can still play it. No, he's banned. You know he is lurking, so technically, he is here. She's got a point. Do you want to see what I made? <laughs> Let's go. Ha 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 ha, that is genius. Did you take inspiration from Jim's comment last night? Certainly did. Can I also tell the chat something important? Yeah, go for it. Okay, everyone. If you are a member, you'll see something different about the emojis tonight. I will give you five seconds to notice and get them in the chat. Ready? Go. There you go, you got five seconds. Emma's, Emma's told you, she's got five seconds. There's something very different in the chat. Have you seen it? I know a few people have seen it. Chuck it in the chat if you've seen it. There it is. <laughs> ha 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 ha, you lot are amazing. You know the ways to donate by now, so I won't mention it. I've laughed so hard I think I have wet myself. Let me just check. Yeah, so I'm going to have to cut this short. Damn incontinence. Anyway, enjoy the stream everyone. I will look forward to reading out your super chats. Man that clown thing is funny. Hmm. So, I took inspiration from what Jim said last night with uh, Captain Clown and it popped into my head today to do that and turn it all around. So, SpongeBob Square Max is no more, but we do have Captain Clown. Or as Jim says, the fresh clown of was it fresh clown of Bell End or something like that. So there you go. Hope you will enjoy that one. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I've got to remember where everything is. Like I said, I've only watched one video and I have written it down. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do this. Fingers crossed. So let's go. So first thing that we've got to do on the left overhead panel is the ground power or also known as the external power get that turned on so that is good to go cockpit on the right hand side you'll see these two little flap controls we've got to swing those round to open uh, so if we zoom in we can see that currently they are closed now they're open good job <laughs> oh dear um, back to the overhead we'll turn the lights on that we need to so we're going to do the nav lights for the moment as well, we'll just have a look to make sure they're working they are working, good stuff this is going to be super interesting very very interesting so yeah, so the lights are on good, good, good um Just deleting some notifications there. Um, right, so we've got the lights on as required. We don't need the beacon just yet. Uh, we can go down to here. So we've got the mixture all the way up, which is fine. That's what we need. Prop conditioning, uh, conditioning, uh, look, prop conditioning, I can't even can say it. Prop conditioning to full, which is already done. Um, fuel gauges, um, which are these ones here. Let's just oh. zoom all the way in here. A lot of mouse clicking here. Uh, we need this one to be the left main.
that's not right, is it? There you go, left main. So essentially, when you're clicking them, they're going to create like a V shape. And right main tank, good stuff. Left. Hopefully, that's on there. Is that right? That would be right, yeah. Left main tank. Right, that's fine. <clears throat> so they're, uh, they're clicked, which is fine. Uh, we go to the right overhead panel, which is here. We'll go for the booster pumps. So fingers crossed. No. Nope. You should now start to hear something. This parking is too small for your aircraft. I just want to check and see if GSX works with the DC-3. No, is the answer to that question. Because there's no stairs. That's all right. Oh! Oh! Oh, it does! That open, can you see that? Can you see that? The door open, oh, maybe it does. Should we, should we go for boarding and see what happens? This parking is too small for your Let's aircraft. Let's request boarding, let's see what boarding happens. Do you want to board crew? Do we want to board crew? Fuck crew it, board crew, coming. I want to see what happens. <gasps> Look. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll go into showcase mode. We've got WestJet 737. It's just there. Oh boy, look at that. That's all the... Oh cool, that's nice. So baggage will go... That's awesome. Uh, oh, that's going to be interesting, which means... Hmm. Okay. Let's just quickly go back to the cockpit here. Um, so booster pumps to on. Uh, we will do. Okay. Started. We're not going to touch anything else yet. I just want to see. I just want to see what happens here. <clears throat> Your crew has boarded. Bus is coming. Oh, crew boarded. Is it? Oh, we're not going to see anyone. I don't think we're going to see anybody bored. Ah, that's rubbish. But we should see the, the baggage go on. Can we have a look at the inside of the plane? Let's have a look. Can we go inside? Can we go into the Oh, look at the cabin. Oh, very nice. Oh, shit. No, sorry. Wicked. Right, I want to see if. I don't think we're going to see any passengers, are we? Oh, that's a shame. Passengers boarding starting. Yeah, no passengers. Ah, that's a bugger. wondering if I was to push the ignition in which is this so master ignition is on so that's fine magnetos we gotta switch is it round to a V 
V-shape. Yep, yeah, there you go. That's another V-shape. Uh, we'll go for heaters because we'll need that because it's very cold. We've got a beacon. We've got a beacon light. Turn the beacon on because then it means we are prepping for pushback. Which I don't think we necessarily need. But we are going to go for it anyway. It's a lot of baggage for 16 passengers. Uh, so, just while we're doing that, I'll say hello to a few people that are here. Benice Thompson, good evening to you. Hope you're well in your class as well. Very good evening to you both. Both doing really well. baggage going on. Like I said, flight time tonight. Just as a t bit of a test. I just want to see if we can get this to uh, <clears throat> get this to run. And if we can get it to run, then uh, there is some very interesting classic routes on their way. Very snowy here. That's a uh, yellow knife. I imagine it's probably snowy over at Hay River. So hopefully everyone had, a, uh, everyone had a good day today. Let me know what you did, what you got up to. Did you have school? Did you have work? Did you not have any of them? I know half term's finished now, isn't it? For Kids. They've all gone back to school, I believe. More luggage than passengers. Uh, might have to. Oh, may, is it two weeks that uh, people are off for then? I'm, I'm sure I've seen people back to school today. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I thought half term was one week as well. Lee's had a good day, says yes, went to the office in Stratford today, managed to get a seat on both journeys, both trains were on time, what the hell? Oh god. Oh god, I've been getting these all day. Yeah, 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 I've, I've, I've already seen these, yeah. Why are you sending them to me? I don't get it. See, half terms are all over the place. When I when I went to school, 
like I'm pretty sure it was like the first because uh, it's the first one isn't it the first one since the kids have been back at school I'm fairly certain it was a week and, 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 and two weeks off after just having some holidays is mental Ten days they got off. Bloody hell. <clears throat> Lee says depends. Some schools are back. Some are still on holiday. I believe schools have uh, autonomy uh, to set their own holidays. All right. Wasn't like that back in my day. That's also when I know I'm getting old. When I'm saying back in my day. Uh, Brandon says uh, it's good because flights are cheaper in the second week. My Oslo flight only costs £36. Uh, can't even get to London from here in Canterbury for that. Bloody hell, very nice. Okay, boarding is complete. So we are good. Um, do we need to push back? I don't necessarily think we need to push back. Maybe we do. Uh, excuse me, stairs man. No, I, I guess we do. I guess we do need it. All right, let's let's see what the pushback style is for the uh, for the DC three. Let's go for it. Let's uh, let's give it a whirl. This parking is too small for your aircraft. De-icing, sure. The icing vehicles are coming now. Let's go for de-icing. Minus four. We've already got the heaters on. Uh, we'll have a look here. If we just take a note here. So, at the moment we're on V-lock. We need that to change, which we will do. I can't remember for life me what you press. Is it? Oh, it's not OBS. Is it C C D? Yeah, there you go. It's GPS. So now, when we press the autopilot, it should follow our waypoints, which is uh, what we want, basically. <coughs> uh, selected altitude. Does that need to be turned on? Or have we not got that? Because that too could be very interesting. Confirm aircraft is ready for treatment. We begin treatment now and observe. Fluid type, one. Concentration at 75%. I will call you back when ready. Second time now we've had to do the icing. Uh, in a, well, second time in a row we've had to do the icing. The icing and anti icing completed. Anti icing code is fluid type one. Concentration at seventy five percent. I'm disconnected. Good day.
<clears throat> Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start until push is completed and brakes are set. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. This would be very interesting. So we've got quite a bit to do on the uh... departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. I'm assuming this thinks it's a proper plane because that thing is now floating in the air. So I don't think this is yeah, so the pushback procedure isn't correct. We're gonna be pushed back very weirdly. Normally they would tow from behind. I just wanted to see what would happen, and they're not doing it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I, I wouldn't expect GSX to uh, to know to do that. <laughs> that's really not going to work. Oh, that's that's weird. It's weird. Uh, let's let. We only need a short pushback anyway. Please stand by for engine start until push is completed and brakes are set. Yes, sir. Release parking brakes, please. Yes, sir. Off the park brakes. Commencing push. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for engine start until go. push is completed and brakes are set. Only a short pushback, so it's fine. Still got plenty to do before we uh, before we actually get to the takeoff part. So that was us coming off of the uh, ground power. Please set parking brakes. That, that, is that not seven? Oh yeah, that has seven. Right, we can get started with the engines then. Uh, so what we've got to do is we've got to open up the throttles just ever so slightly. In fact, why am I doing that? Just bring them up slightly. Okay, and then what we do is we go up to the top. Lynn, good evening, hope you are well. <coughs> so we go up to the top. I'm gonna to try and get you a nice view of the outside of the startup of the aeroplane. Okay, so uh, we would need to we go for a right primer first. So we're going to click the primer. Which apparently says off. I don't think that's off. Slight bug, perhaps. Still says it's off. Right primer, boost the pumps on, uh, we energise to the right, so we have to press that down, give it a couple of seconds, we don't need to turn the battery on just yet Carl, don't worry. And then we're going to go down for mesh to the right. Here we go. Yep, 
beautiful. I'll do it <coughs> as a bit of a close up so you can see the effects as well. Just ignore the fact that our, our thingy that's towing us is uh, not. Oh, Mr. Ground, we have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Oh, that's a, that's a new voice. Right, in we go. Uh, so, now that we've got the left primer, uh, the right primer done, we're going to go left primer on. Unlocking gear. We're going to energize the left. Give it a couple of seconds. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. Start. Both engines have started. We can probably come off the external power. I don't know why the mouse is now doing this. So, ground power off. Battery can go on. And just for now, the boosters. Turn those off. Does the engine? Yeah, still got power. Just check that. <clears throat> now we got to uh, unlock our. Is it going to do that? Control 4? Yes, it will. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to unlock our tail wheel. Tail wheel, it's already unlocked, so that's fine. So we're good to go. Uh, for that, battery is on. Uh, we go back to the top. Uh, we can go to the radios. Be a switch. In fact, they might be fine. So we're not using the. Uh... Okay, twenty-three thousand feet is incorrect. We're gonna do fifteen today for the initial climb. In fact, that's that's probably what we're gonna stick at. It's fifteen thousand, right? And we are good for taxi. Oh boy, <coughs> here we go. So parking brake off. Uh, quick nose on Volanta will tell us we are going off of uh, I think it's runway 34. So we've got a long old backtrack. On runway 34. <coughs> Cold dark start, quick start, passing, landing, windshield, in fact we can have that on, windshield de-ice, no taxi lights which is interesting, okay, parking brake off, 
gentle. Very, very careful with this. There's obviously being a tail dragger. That back wheel tends to skid all over the place like a shopping trolley. Setting the flaps to take off. Very careful with the brakes as well, you see, as well. Um, so, aeroplane is ready to go. So, we've got no other lights to put on except for maybe our landing lights because we're going to be taking off. Surprised we don't have any strobes. Maybe we don't need them. Otherwise, let's uh, let me just confirm that we are going off in runway three, four. Yeah, runway 3-4. So yeah, so we're going to be backtracking all along this runway before we turn around and take off. So, on the power. moving for the flaps but we've got them set to take off now we can backtrack all the way down this runway and then take off for our one hour flight over to Hay River got to be super duper careful Long old backtrack. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely love it. First proper time flying a DC-3. I've also, by the way, <clears throat> I've had a look briefly at the DC-6. Um, checklist and it seems relatively simple so I'm, I'm going to try and throw the DC-6 in at some point as well um, and uh, try and do some flights with that DC-6 as well I think that'd be quite interesting Uh, we've slightly gone off course, but that is fine because that's the tail um, of the aeroplane. Okay, here we go. Off the power. Let the aircraft just roll. I 
Uh, the West Jet went off of another runway. I'm not overly sure where it's gone or where it's going to. But my guess is you can have probably, probably have a look on flight radar. Flight radar will probably uh, give you a good indication as to where it's gone. So it's swinging the aeroplane round. Now, <coughs> this is where things get very interesting. Let's just confirm that we are. Let's just get ourselves in the middle. So if we go down to control room four for takeoff, we need to lock. The tail wheel for the takeoff to stop the airplane wobbling all over the place for our takeoff. Once we're in the air, we can take that off again because we need to take that off for our landing. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're good to go. So um, good luck everybody. Uh, sound's going to go up. You can enjoy the lovely sounds of the DC-3. I'm going to shush Kev's favourite part. Here we go. school. How was that? 
slightly wobbly. We locked the gear. And uh, it, it still wasn't straight, which was bizarre. So what we should, uh, what, or at least what should happen now, is you'll see on the screen here, that's our path, so we're going to come out here, turn left, what I'm hoping is we do turn left, I imagine we should do. <coughs> uh, and then, I hate this, why is my control not funny? So we're looking for 15,000. Uh, we'll go from there. Sarah, good evening to you. Hope you are well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. old school flying this is. You can't beat it. You cannot beat that DC3. That is stunning. Beautiful. So we should be executing our left turn shortly. I don't know why my mouse is zooming in like this now. So I'm just keeping an eye on this and keeping an eye on the aeroplane. Volanta will be slightly odd, but don't worry too much. We're following a flight plan. If you are watching on Volanta and following it. Snowy Canada. Right, please make that turn. That's what we're hoping for. Make that turn. doing this is annoying me now fuck off right the aircraft ain't turning why are we not turning we will recover this don't worry
turning now. But why are we turning in the first place? Because now we're coming back on ourselves. this is like first time doing it. That's what's annoying, that's what's bothering me the most at the moment, is that active flight mode is not. Let's just see what happens here. Woo, look at that turn.
See, now that we had this, um, I had this little issue before. Where we've done this, and we should have put the flight plan in. I wonder if that is what should have happened. He's not going back on the top there, is he? That's what's happening. So oh, that's really annoying because now flight radar looks all over. Um, sorry, flight, flight radar, flight, uh, flight, whatnot. Um, Balanta looks all over the place. Uh, just stop clicking and leave the. No, I can't leave the thing to fly because it's not doing what I want it to. Right now, okay. So now we're following the flight route. I'm half tempted to start again. <laughs> the flight plan looks horrific. Like, Volanta just looks really bad. Oh, you, you, you learn these things. That's all it is. That's what it's all about. You just you've got to learn them. One way or another, you've got to learn it. That's what we're doing. So for me, what I've got to remember is, is that when you're using something like this, you've got to put the flight plan in. We had this, what do we have the issue with? What was the aircraft we had the issue with? Was it? No. I'm sure it was one of the private jets. A Honda jet, wasn't it? It was a Honda jet. We had to put the, uh, we had to manually enter the flight plan. And then it worked. I think we're good. No, no starting again. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Just trying to, just, I'm just trying to learn the old school aeroplanes. I imagine the DC-6, if it ever came with this, would need the same thing. But, yeah. Um, anyway, we are cruising at 18,000 feet today for our flight over to Hay River. Hopefully now, please, it should pick the flight plan up. Let's hope so. Ah, 
that flying plan is horrendous. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Right, come on then. Come on then. Go on then. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on then. So YHY, that, that, okay, so that's D last. So I wonder if, as a learning curve, <coughs> I wonder if it was going to do that in the, in the first place. That's my thinking. My thinking is it was going to do that in the first place. Now we're turning right, which means we're going to go onto this lane. I wonder if that's what we should have done. Because <clears throat> I looked at D last and wondered why it wasn't doing that. I wonder if that's what it was doing in the first place. It looks like now. We should be following. You know what? I got the thing to start. I'm proud of the fact that I got the thing to start. I'm not annoyed. I think... I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to muck about with the DC-3. Just give it a... give it a few flights. And just see if there's if it does follow it straight off because obviously there's no way to load it in obviously at the same time DC-3s do, do not have autopilots so I just wonder if, if we'd left it initially whether that was going to be what it was going to do but I can't answer that because I don't know so yeah. Alright. What have we got? 38? Well, we've got 31 minutes apparently left on this flight. Yeah, but someone clicked to load of buttons. Look, I'm, I'm learning the aeroplane, okay? I'm learning the aeroplane. At least I got the thing off the ground. I mean, it could be worse. You could watch Max and it wouldn't get off the ground. Five hours he spent trying to do Stansted to fucking Paris. In that time, you could do about three flights back and forth. Looks good, though. The airplane does look good. The landing is going to be the, uh, the interesting. If 
five hours between stand. No, 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 no. What I mean is, is five hours it took him to try to do stats into Paris. He's been sat on the ground for five hours. He still hasn't done it. You know what that calls for. I mean, like I said, I've not tested the DC-3. I've literally just learned how to start it up and stuff. And when I saw this autopilot, I was thinking to myself, maybe. It might be alright, but then obviously because I haven't flown an aircraft with this GPS thing in it for a while, I forget you have to put the, the, the flight plan in. Or you might not have to, so it's one of those things that I just need to, excuse me, just need to look at. That's all it is. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Old school flying at its finest. Max got a new avatar then, uh, yes, he, he certainly did. with the super chat thank you so much yeah we, we've it's taken a bit of time <laughs> but we've uh, we've managed to get it working so i think yeah we know we know roughly what we're doing i need to like i said just need to quickly well not i'm not gonna do it now i might do it quickly after the stream because we are due to land in the next 27 minutes or so it might be a little bit longer than that next half hour roughly um i just need to see if this will follow the flight plan that's literally all I need to do. Whether I need to put anything into it or whether I just miscalculated what it was doing. It's the first time properly flying a DC-3, so you can have to forgive me. Right, I'll be back in a second. Should we go grab something from them? Do I say that or not? Screw it, I'll get roasted anyway. I'm going to go grab something from the fridge, two seconds.
definitely not manual time. No, I picked up these from the garage earlier because it's been a while. See that? New York vanilla cheesecake slices. Oh yes. My big lover of cheesecake. I've not had cheesecake for a while, so I saw these and it was like uber tempted. God, they smell good. Sharing is caring, not with fucking cheesecake, eh? Fuck right off. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Looks good though. It's a thick old bit of fucking cheesecake. Let's see if it tastes good. says if you dropped it then. Have you just seen a grown man cry on stream? Again. Lunch. Uh, the uh, I had a sausage and bacon baguette for lunch. Uh, it was fucking lovely. Absolutely amazing. Lewis, good evening. Hope you're well. This is lovely DC3 there. Just about worked out how to fly it. Should be landing at Hay River in the next. 20 minutes. Uh, we're just coming over the, uh, the Snake Pit's uh, wonderful island that a lot of people that are involved in the Snake Pit are part of. Um, and one of their all time favourite places. I'll show you one for Lanta very quickly. See if you can see it. A lot of the, uh, the Snake Pit's favourite holiday place. Can you see it? of the snake pit go on their holidays it's Lonely Bay. Just passing that now. Uh, Jim says no doubt uh, that's where Doink the Clown is. <laughs> Doink the Clown. Lewis asking who Doink the Clown is. Doink the Clown was a um, a wrestling character back in the uh, back in the oh God nineties. I 
very popular going to the clown. Jim and I are wrestling fans, so we, we understand it. showed was Lonely Bay. And um, yeah, Don't the Clown was a wrestler back in the 90s. Talking of wrestling, I do believe it's Crown Jewel this weekend, so we can do a bit of a watch along while we do a flight. My dad used to speak about being in DC3s in Northern India back in the day and having to sit with an umbrella because they leaked. Yeah. Uh, Lewis says, what was what my snacking? Uh, I'll show you what I was snacking. New York vanilla cheesecake slices. serves two people. It does serve two people. I sent a picture of it to um, to uh, somebody I'm seeing at the moment. Very jealous. He's a big fan of, uh, of cheesecake. I said, how, on a scale of 1 to 10, how jealous are you at the moment? But four hundred out of a thousand. So yes, um, yes. Anyway, um, the crown jewel, I believe, is this weekend. The, uh, the the WWE pay per view. Depending on what my plans are, I'm thinking about doing a bit of watch along. Other cheesecakes are available. Yeah, so I I like New York cheesecake, but I think my all-time favourite is like white chocolate and strawberry. I can't get that anywhere though, except from like a restaurant. But I make a really good one with Milky Bar and Galaxy. Not together, but Milky Bar and Galaxy. And what I want to try 
is the Japanese style cheesecakes where like they're almost like jelly. That's like next on my list of things to learn how to make. Weird, do you not think I eat like loads and loads? I don't. I'm not a, I'm not a big eater. I'm not a big eater. Uh, there will be a Biscoff one. There is always a Biscoff one. I've made a Biscoff one before and it was bloody lovely. Very oh, what's this? Yeah, it was very nice. Very, very nice. Self Muppet. It was like a mouse. Uh, any cheesecake you don't like? I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've not. Well, I tell you what. There's. If it's made with too much cream cheese. If it's made with too much cream cheese and you can taste the cream cheese, I, then that's horrible. I don't normally add like loads of cream cheese to mine. Only a very small bit. To help with the fluffiness of the, the filling, and it's just all oh, I tell you. Mm. You have to make one. You have to make one. I've already promised to make one, so I've got to make one. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of what the Japanese one's called, but it's like it doesn't look anything like a cheesecake. But it's a Japanese cheesecake, and it, it, it wobbles like jelly. It, it looks amazing. It's amazing. I need to have a look here because have we got Oh we do, we've got the approach, that's fine. down to uh, 7,000 feet. Just for our approach into Hay River. We're going in on runway 32, which on Balanta is down as runway 31. It's been an interesting flight, for sure. Uh, I do have some other liveries downloaded for it, uh, for some like some old American uh, airlines and stuff like that. Uh, is that the water cake? I don't know what it's called, Dom. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but it's, yeah, it's... Yeah, I can't think what it's called. Um, 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 Japanese. 
cheese. It's like a, um, I don't think they call it a name, but it, I mean, it, it, I'm, I want to try it because it looks incredible. It, it just, I mean, it looks easy. It looks easy to make. Um, let's try and grab the picture. Just so I can show you. It's like a, Souffle cheesecake type thing. It's weird. It, it, it looks like a cake. Can you see that in my, in my... I wonder if you can I wonder if you guys see that. I'm just gonna bring that uh, prop down because we are massively obscure. Let me just uh can you see that, can you see that? Of course you can't fuck it, it's Can you see that? Oh fuck off. Adaptive brightness, my right, fuck off. Leave me alone for a minute. Okay. Right, you can see that now, roughly. No, because the fucking. What's going on here? Go to Android, they said, it'd be so much better. Right, right, there you go. Can you see that? You should be able to see that. It's like a Japanese, like, uh, they call it like a souffle cheesecake. It looks very, like, it looks light as anything. But it looks nothing, nothing like a cheesecake. Raindrop cheese, uh, raindrop cake. There, there was, there's a specific name for it. I'm not sure what it is. All I know is it looks amazing. I want to try it. So as we continue our descent.
you stop playing with my head? I'm not playing with my head. I'm actually getting a cut tomorrow. So. Style cheesecake, cotton cheesecake, or a light cheesecake. I would say something like light cheesecake, or I'd normally call it like a souffle style. Um, you going post office tomorrow? No. Nope. I figured uh, the next time I'm probably going to go to post office is going to most likely be Saturday morning. I don't plan on doing anything in the morning. So I've made it my task, unless by by some miracle uh, I get a day off this week. Uh, but I will have to go to the post office first thing, uh, Saturday morning, so I can get uh, things sent off. Do you, uh, do you get many good cheesecake recipes from Only Flans? Very good, David. One of those landings where you can't see a fucking thing. Alright, we're gonna hold the altitude at 5,000 feet.
speed down to 3,000 feet. Bring that speed back just to counteract it. Got there in the end. Gonna muck around with DC3 probably later or uh, at the weekend. Stansted to Paris flight, which is now taking him into his seventh hour of trying to do it. Uh, I also want to see if the approach mode works, so we'll hit that. Right, let's get everything sorted and ready for our landing. This is going to be very interesting. I'm not expecting this to be successful. Uh, I'm half, half tempted, really, to lock the, 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 the tail here to stop it from. Because it will, it will spin out of control when we touch down. I'm already guaranteeing that. What's he flying? The 777 ATR, something like that. He is. Okay, weather's improving, which is good. Uh, so, music's about to go off. Time to get your uh, landing rates in, please. Do I start to write my will here? Okay, to wait, I leave my KLM Bravo 777. To Lynn, I leave. <laughs> no, I don't mean it's going to like smash into the ground. It's like it'll just. When you land it. I've seen a lot of people do it. The tail wheel tends to like, it's like drifting a car. It's weird. Very, very weird. You'll see in a minute. Because it'll probably happen. Alrighty. Round we go. We can go for the first lot of laps. Let's get the landing replay going. Let's get ourselves into full screen. And get your predictions in. Uh, Wayne says 196. Uh, Jim says, of course he's live now. He nearly always does when you're live. Yeah, I know. Carl 246. Rob says, keep the power on when touching down, all the weight is at the front. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the tail gear that I'm more concerned about. The, the, the gentlest of like movements just tends to turn it into a drifting car. It's weird. Very, very weird. Let's go for that gear. There's our airport, just in the bar. you might not be able to see it because of the bar. The airport is around there, I believe. Kept going for 380, uh, 387, 
uh, Lewis with a 280. I think the, the actual landing itself will be fine, it's stopping the aeroplane that's going to be the, the, the trouble. Stopping the plane is going to be the worst bit. Jim going for 300, Rob round 2 is 32. Uh, are we doing a storm flight Thursday? If you would like a storm flight, we can do a storm flight. As long as I know where the worst worst hit bits are, then I'll plan a flight around there. Whether we go from that place or whether we go to it, I imagine we probably go straight to it. The boat is 306, you know, like an old Persian. Says those engines sound awesome. They do sound wonderful, but I'll give it that. It does sound pretty epic. Now, uh, wait, it's orange warning for wind along the south coast and makes a change from the north gate now. If, uh, if we find a place that's going to be like the worst hit along the south coast we could go into Southampton we haven't done Southampton for a while in fact we haven't done Southampton at all we could go into Southampton but Southampton is like going to get hit quite badly you do Southampton Bournemouth might be a shell I don't think we've got a flight plan for Thursday, so yeah, so if you've got anything you want to kind of check out in terms of the storm. Jersey to Southampton. We can have a look at like some airlines that go into Southampton. Go in there. If Southampton is like gonna be the worst hit. Definitely like to give Southampton a, a, a shell. In fact, very quickly, just while we while we're uh, slowly descending, or well, slowly approaching. ATR flight with uh, Air Lingus. Go to Dublin, Southampton.
like the idea of Dublin, Dublin and Southampton.
And the tail wheel's down. Jesus wept. Nice landing, but you expected the drifting? I, I certainly did. Yeah, definitely, definitely expected that, uh, the drifting. It's so tricky. Honestly, it's so difficult. Once that tail wheels down, it's, yeah. I'll be interested to see what that looks like on the replay. Says, uh, well done, Tom. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, well done on landing it. Uh, you did join the exclusive YouTube club on crash landings. What was with the UFO lights? I don't know. It's like a, I think that's a bug for the scenery. That was a bit, bit weird. No. Um, landing lights off. David Bone says, well on Tom, a fine landing. Tail dragging is a tricky proposition. Good effort though. Thanks, Rob. Nice first time landing. Yeah, tricky. Very tricky. Very interested to see what that looks like on the replay. Where are you taking us? You're a really bad follow me, Carl. some more DC-3 flights in the future. Showing me how to drift properly. Wouldn't surprise me. He came off at the wrong turn, in, didn't he? It's a tricky one to fly this one. Probably the, uh, the hardest plane I've had to fly. Jack is the follow me car. <laughs>
literally could take the first turn in. Oh yes. Welcome to GSX. That's what I thought we were taking. There are bonuses if Jack is the following me car, you'll end up at rear. Again, that wouldn't surprise me. I'm not still trying to work out something for example. Break on. That'll do it. <sighs> well, that was interesting. Love that. That was great fun. So, another flight done. Back on Thursday, um, I'm going to pick a route to Southampton, obviously for the storm that's coming. Um, and yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. We'll do some more DC3. I'm hoping to do the DC6 as well. So we'll do some of that as well uh, at some point in the future. But you know what's coming. Right, off I go. Let's get the replay on. Uh, what did Volanta have it down as, by the way? Oh, Volanta. Volanta, that is naughty. Let's end that flight. Let me show you. Look what Volanta had it down as. Oof. 150, 40, 30, 20, 10. Right All the fives, minus 55.55. Five, 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 five. Lure pack buttery goodness. Alright, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you on Thursday for our flight to Southampton. Not sure where from yet, but I will be picking that at some stage. But for now, take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, sorry, just a little bit. Go again. Enjoy the rest of your evening, 
Enjoy your Wednesday, and I'll see you on Thursday. Take care, everybody. Good night. we